It's December 12th, and here we are back at the hangar. And uh, a few more tools got picked up uh, this week. Got a set of impact driver bits for my Milwaukee impact driver. Picked up a tube of um, the orange uh, torque lock, torque seal stuff to put on the bolts. Um, I was borrowing some uh, for the other ones I did. And picked up a set of over under. You saw me show those on that last, um, last or the previous to that video. Over under chuck reamers. Um, and these are for um, fractional sizes, eighth, three sixteenths quarter um, on up to a half inch. So we can go over under a thousandth on those sizes. So we use those on the other aileron and, aileron and flap hinge arms uh, bushings that we put in. We'll give those a try. That should work pretty slick. So today's mission is uh, we're going to see if we can get this fixed here, the fit up or the fitting on this hinge where it's got interference on that spar. Uh, I got feedback and information from Randy Schlitter, uh, gave me some good info on how to take care of this. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to file out uh, where this it's kind of hard to see the colors. There we go. We're going to file out uh, on this fitting here and the, the spar is behind it, but we'll just file off just a, a whiff of there, uh, just enough to get this so that it fits all the way down. It should be flush up against that, that fitting right there or against that spar. So we'll file that out a little bit have it just uh, gently rounded, filed out, and um, we'll get, hopefully that's, that'll get us done today. We're kind of a little short on time. Um, got some commitments this afternoon that we're gonna do. Uh, so we'll get to working on that and um, see how far we get. Oh yeah, and we showed up at the hangar this morning and um, we have found a card sitting on our table and it's from the the owner of the hangar. We rent space in here and we kind of try to take care of the hangar for him. He doesn't live uh, where we do, so he lives in a different city and we kind of keep an eye on things for him, but got a really nice card from him and his wife and there was a little cash tucked in there. So we're, uh, we were very, very surprised, very, um, Appreciative. Very appreciative, um, super nice folks, and just um, so this just to say that you know what uh, you know if you're renting space, um, take care of it. Um, he's told us that you know he wants us to treat the hangar as if it's our own, which we do. We try to take good care of this space, uh, keep an eye on things for him, and. So we, we got a nice, very nice Christmas card and a little Christmas bonus from them. And it's just a super nice thing to do. Really appreciate it. Okay, so I've uh, got this marked up. This is how much uh, we need to make. Uh, this is how much we have to modify to uh, get that arm to sit flush in there. And I just put a mark on that fitting where we're going to start um, filing that away. Okay, got our modification done on this fitting on the spar. It didn't take too much. I just used a round file on it. And well, on, when we do the other wing, I'll show that process for that. But um, we've got this fitted in now. And uh, we're Clecoed up, getting ready to do the riveting. Uh, we're gonna rivet uh, the ribs into the spars. First we have to we got yeah we got to bolt the truss onto the rear spar and that is right here so we'll have to torque those to spec and uh, put some torque lock uh, on it and then we will rivet the rest of uh, the ribs in. This way, what I say, 50? Mm -hmm. 
let's get this so it's so it's in contact there. <laughs> Good timing. Okay. So these, uh, the nuts on the rear spar, rear spar to truss, are torqued to thirty-five. Yeah. So it was fifteen pounds of drag. Uh, 15 inch pounds of drag uh, on the nut um, without without being torqued down because of the insert. So that, and I'm going 35 inch pounds. Uh, the spec is between 30 and 40. Let's double check. And for 30 to 40 inch pounds on a shear nut. So I'm going 35, 15 inch pounds of drag, so that was uh, 50 inch pounds I got that torque down to, uh, which equals 35 on this. Okay, so we've got the nuts uh, torqued down to spec, and now I'm gonna put some uh, torque seal on it, and I didn't really show the last one I did, but I've got this um, tube of uh, fluorescent orange torque seal, and what that does is you put it on here, and I'll show that. So you put that across the threads and then across the nut. What happens is if, for some reason, if this nut starts to come loose from this bolt, it'll put a crack, it'll crack that torque seal. And uh, so when we're inspecting the airplane, we'll be able to visually see if, that's, uh, if that, that seal has been broken. So we just put a little bit on there. So chance here, put a little bit on here. And this wing will have, uh, right underneath where this truss attaches to this bar, there's an inspection cover that will be right here. We'll be able to take that off on inspection, be able to look at these and check those out.
Okay, we're done. We're done for the day. Um, we got our ribs all riveted onto the spars. Uh, at least as far as as we can. There are some rivets on the back, the rear spar that don't get uh, they don't get riveted yet because that's where the gap seals will go for the ailerons and flaps. Um, but everything went pretty good. Got those all done and we installed the bell cranks for the flaps and the ailerons. Uh, got that all done, installed. Uh, Loctite, the one thing we did not do is we did not safety wire these bolts yet. I'm a little con not confused. I'm just not sure where to safety wire that to. Um, so that's one thing we have left to do is safety wire each of those bolts. But um, that's making some progress. Starting to look like a wing. Um, the next thing we'll be doing is uh, we'll be doing some cabling, uh, aileron flight control cabling. That will attach to this bell crank here. Um, but uh, yeah, that's uh, we're we're done for the day here. So kind of excited to getting started again on some riveting, getting some structure put together. And uh, yeah, it's um, going pretty good. Uh, I think I showed, yeah, I showed the repair, or not the repair, the modification on that, on this here. We got that to fit up fine, so that's done. Um, and um, yeah, that's, that's all we're gonna do for today. So um, if, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And uh, thanks for watching, and we'll, uh, we'll have another video the next time we're up here. Don't know when that'll be, but uh, we'll get up here and get that done. And uh, that's it for now.